गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स कंटिन्यू चैप्टर नंबर 8.2 दैट इज एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप डेवलपमेंट इन व्हिच टुडे वी विल डू द टॉपिक स्टार्टअप इंडिया स्कीम यू मे गेट द शॉर्ट नोट और माइट बी द इन बिटवीन क्वेश्चन इन दिस इन द एग्जामिनेशन सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड एंड लर्न दिस टॉपिक सो थॉरली स्टार्टअप इंडिया स्कीम इट इज गिवन इन द टूलकिट हियर it refers to the government scheme under which financial and other assistance is provided to the young entrepreneurs in order to convert the initiative to be taken by them into reality what is it it refers to the government scheme it means no doubt this scheme is launched by the government under which financial and other assistance is to be provided to the young entrepreneurs Young means which are the new generation educated young you understand I hope the people of this era full of energy full of new ideas full of skills in order to convert the initiative to be taken by them into reality so whatever the initiative will be taken by them it is to be converted into reality this is to be done. by the start of india scheme if we look at the detail the announcement of this scheme has been done on august 2015 on the occasion of our independence day by the prime minister shri narendra modi the main objective of the scheme please underline what is the main objective of this scheme is to inspire the skilled youth to develop the technology and to make the employment opportunities available to them so what is to be done here the main objective of the startup india scheme if you get the one mark question you have to write the main objective of the scheme is to inspire the skill the main objective of the startup india scheme is to inspire the skilled youth to develop the technology and to make the employment opportunities available to them under this scheme several financial and other benefits are provided to the entrepreneurs and the advantage of this scheme is to available only to a special class of business the business unit which wants to take advantage of this startup india scheme has to fulfill the following condition let's see what are the conditions of startup india scheme the registration of the business should be in any of the one following forms that will be private limited company that will be partnership firm limited liability partnership llp more than 7 years in case of general unit or more than 10 years in case of biotechnological unit in case of general unit it is more than 7 year in case of biotechnological unit it is 10 year should have been passed after the registration or the incorporation of concerned unit and moreover in this in the every financial year the turnover should not be exceed to 25 crore the business unit should have established have been established with the aim of developing a new process good service or bringing about an important change in the current process good service fifth the business should, uh, unit should not be the result of splitting or reconstruction of the some current business unit it should not be the reconstruction it should be the fresh construction not reconstruction it should be a construction of the business currently it should be started uh, presently it should be started it is not like that that some organization is going on and we have to split that or reconstruct that it should not be like that now what are the features of startup india scheme the first one is the innovation development innovative you know the word derived from the innovation the new ideas according to the features of the startup india scheme the benefit of this can be refers to developing a new process good service and bringing about an important change in the current process good services nurturing entrepreneurship no doubt 
we know that the young uh, entrepreneur are always uh, full of enthusiasm they have the good entrepreneurship qualities but just because of this it just nurtures the entrepreneurship it develop more skills in them by providing them a platform related with the limited area the government attempt is benefit to the scheme reaches to the small entrepreneur that's why measure of scale and time limit of the business establishment have been fixed for the business concern coming under the startup the sale of the business concern in the financial year should not be exceed 25 crore and more than 7 or 10 year again i am telling you for the general unit it is 7 year for the biotechnological unit it is 10 years it should not have been passed after the establishment of the business unit if we talk about the legal complexity these are minimum a special care has been taken for the startup india scheme it should not be minimum there, there are should be minimum legal complexities for example for 3 years no inspection related to the labor laws shall be made of business unit coming under this scheme declaration of financial benefit the several financial rebates by the government have been granted to the business unit coming under the startup scheme if the startup gets it patent done it will get 80% rebate on the expenditure incurred on patent besides there is a provision for rebate on the income tax and capital gain tax so financial benefits are also declared it is given under the 80% rebate on the expenditure incurred on the patent and besides that provision for rebate and income tax and capital gain tax is also to be provided easy registration to get the registration in business unit done under this scheme is quite easy its registration is done online itself with this aim the government started a mobile app and a portal on april 1 2016 by using a registration under the startup scheme is possible in one day only so registration is very easy startup support hub the ministry of human resource development with the hrd department and the department of science and technology have jointly decided that that they will establish a startup support hub in a different educational institutes these hub will be set up mainly in the following educational institute national institute of technology indian institute of information technology means nits it is national indian institute of science education and research national institute of pharmaceutical education and research so these are the institutes has been start up as a hub these educational institutes support for the startup india scheme government funding to encourage the startup in first four year aiming on 2500 crore every year the government made a provision of 10 crore not only but this also 1.25 lakh bank branches were directed to provide financial minimum one entrepreneur that the finance provided in this manner must be included at least one tribal entrepreneur or dalit entrepreneur or women entrepreneur so in this way a government funding has been provided to the startup india scheme now the question arises what is the process of startup india scheme how it is to be started if you want to start this kind of entrepreneurship or a business first of all you have to incorporate that business then you have to go to startup india website upload all the documents that are required by them the what are these this is a letter of recommendation this is a certificate of registration of the business and a brief description of the business and a letter of availing tax benefit means a certificate from the inter ministerial board is to be taken and it is to be uploaded as well self certificate conditions like the type of the unit duration of establishment the quantum of the turnover innovation innovative nature of the business the status of splitting and re, uh, reconstruction all these are to be mentioned these are the self certified condition after that getting recognized recognition number 
when this process completed the applicant will get a recognition number for the startup india scheme and the certificate of recognition is issued after the scrutinizing the documents means checking of the document and it should be borne in mind there is a provision of heavy fine if the information submitted wrong or any fake documents has been prepared so in this way uh, we can say that the recognition number for startup india scheme can be taken this is a complete process now what are the ways of the funding up how the arrangement of fund is to be done in startup india scheme it is bootstrapping crowd funding angel investment venture capital incubators and accelerators winning contest fund bank loan non banking financial companies government offers quick money these are the different different ways by which the funds can be taken for the startup india scheme so for first of all bootstrapping bootstrapping is a method to start up the fund under which entrepreneur invests the business in his his personal saving himself and he can request his friends and relatives for the funding as well it is not as bootstrapping crowd funding it's a method when the funds are collected from the large number of people through the medium of internet the entrepreneur give the information about the available uh, startup india on the available platform and people who are able to invest in startup india they can invest the money there so entrepreneur has uh, can give the information on these following sites it is indigogo kito wishberry and fundlines angel investment is a method of startup india when the rich people having interest in development of startup india to get invest in the business and these investor can uh, have the main angels are indian angel network hyderabad angels mumbai angels venture capital yes you can say you can use the venture capital and uh, venture capital invest that is uh, risky a little because possibility of being very much profitable business and following the main companies that provide the funds nexus venture partner leon calori capital sl partner lumi ventures canon spivi and besamer these are the ventures you can add on incubator and accelerator and the government kept the several financial institution in the class of incubator and accelerator these organization provide financial assistance to startup the organization which financially help the startup of at the start is called the incubator similarly when the startup start developing an organization which gives the financial help at the time it is known as the accelerator so these are two incubator and accelerator if you want to walk then incubator required if you want to run then accelerator required winning the contest fund under this method startup the function of contest entrepreneur engaged in startup is organized in this competition all the present their respective startup plan and the one who gives the better best presentation or better presentation declared as a winner and they can get the funds easily for the startup india bank loan yes you may get the bank loan from the bank from the bank of baroda hdfc icic axis bank any of the bank non banking and financial companies the startup who can not fulfill the loan condition from the bank can easily get the financial help from the nbfcs government offer to get the financial help for the startup india the government has arranged 10000 crores they arrange this money for the startup india entrepreneurs quick money under this method the startup fund the arrangement fund is made mainly in the following manner getting payment prior to the sale of product sale of properties use of credit cards for example like apple and samsung generally are the payment from the customer prior to its supply of goods so you may get the quick money in this way this is all about the startup india scheme let's recall what we have done in this topic today we have learned the meaning of the startup india scheme
we have learned the meaning of the startup india scheme first then we have done what are the features of startup india scheme then we did what is the process of startup india scheme the process is to be done what are the ways of funds from where the funds can be acquired that we have done now let's do our next topic that is our intellectual property rights intellectual property rights patent rights trademark there are so many intangible assets you have seen which are helpful for maintain the goodwill of the business to ensure the trust of the parties which are involved with our business so intellectual property rights are also those kind of rights uh, which make your business more reliable more faithful it develop the faith of the other parties and the concerned who are related to your business so uh, intellectual property rights is also the right which provide you which fulfill this objective this is this right meaning is not that its objective is that but now what is intellectual property and what are property intellectual property right let's see intellectual intellectual means that is related to some intelligence we can say property property you know very well the asset you have it refers to any original creation of the human intellect such as artistic literary technical or scientific creation suppose you have your own any creativity that is that is your art piece that is your poem you composed whatever it is it means you have only right to use that intellectual property that right is known as intellectual property right so intellectual property is the original creation of the human intellect it may be the artistic it may be the literary it may be the technical scientific creation in other words we may say the intellectual property is such a property of a person as is created by the human intellect so different intellectual properties can be divided in two following parts one is literary and artistic work and another is the industrial property literary and artistic work can be related to the books music composition novels printing computer software movies culture but the industrial properties we can say it is invention of a new technology industrial design idea of a new product commercial name and logo of a new product now the question arises what is intellectual property right i hope the intellectual property is clear to everybody what is intellectual property i am repeating once again intellectual property means your original creation whether it is the literary or the artistic work or whether it is any technical or scientific creation but whatever the original creativity that is your intellectual property because it developed from your intellect from your intelligence so what is the intellectual property right that it refers to a special right for the creator for a definite period which is provided to him for the use of his creative work that major iprs which are the intellectual property rights please mark here the major types of the intellectual property rights these are floating on the screen these are the copyright these are the patent rights trademark trade secret and geographical indication i hope property intellectual property is clear to everybody now intellectual property rights means which make your intellectual property safe from any theft it provides security to your rights then it is known as intellectual property rights and these are the list or there, there is a list or you can find of these iprs these iprs are the copyrights patent right trademark right trade secrets and geographical indicators so let's start with the copyright it refers to the right given to the creator on his literary and the artistic creation fine whatever you have written whatever you have uh, create in literature or artistic you have done like uh, the copyright is available for the books music composition novels printing software all these like in this book this right is reserved you can see it is given over here the isbn number under that the copyright reserved to the publisher 
and uh, publisher rbk publication the rights are reserved to them only they without with their permission you can have the copyrights to publish this now registration process of the copyrights how can you get the process is simply given over here that you have to fill the application then you have to pay a fixed fees then in the 30 days uh, of the application checking the application form the original copyright is issued to the applicants now what is the duration for a writer or a artist the duration of the copyright is for the whole of his life and it is continue up to the 60 years after his their death and in case of movies photographs and works for the government if we talk the duration of the copyright is up to 60 year after the publication of the creative work fine so it is uh, the duration then the we, we talk about the patents patent refers to given a creator a result of his creation of a new useful and non obvious product or process patent is a right given to an inventor under which up to a fixed period only inventor can use that invention here the invention so patents uh, are refers to the right given to the creator as a result of his creation of a new useful and non obvious product or process so what are the requirements of the condition of the patentability it is the patentable subject matter that uh, you have to give the subject matter industrial utility novelty non obvious these are the condition for the patent ability means here for for which purpose you want to have the patent for which you want to for about which process or product you want to have the patent right that uh, patentable subject matter should be there the industrial utility should be there it is practically usable related to that industry and there is something new should be there and non obvious means it show the show the human genuinity and creativity it should not be robotic and what is the duration of the patent patents are always recognized in india for 20 years and the period of the patent begin with the effect from the date of the submission of the application and after the permission of the patent is granted the patent holder has to deposit the renewal fees every year in order to retain or preserve it this is get started after the third year of the grant of the patent and patent granting process then again filing of the application publication of application pre grant opposition filing of examination decision of patent office and application of grant and post grant opposition post grant opposition means even after the grant permission of the payment the third party can get a opposition registered and uh, to do this the opposite party has to submit the application with the facts in the patent office if they want to object the opposition so every process you have to write and make a flow chart of every process thoroughly and identify what are the common uh, steps are to be taken in every process this is the only way to learn what are the, the various process of taking the intellectual rights or ips now trademark trademark we know very well these are the special symbols word name sound size use of which is done being distinguished mark to a business like mcdonalds has its different name the coca cola has a different shape they have a, the company orange has its different color the volkswagen has its different type of logo so what are these these are the symbols name shape all these are the trademark trademark play a very important role in the market because it just uh, develop a visual impact in the mind of the customer in uh, when you have a good trademark or an impressive trademark you can easily have a grip in the market so it refers to right given to the creator under which there is no person or a business or concern can use the well productive uh, thing distinguish identity you know very well that uh, if you uh, talk about any name like it is 
any of the company they have their own logo samsung has their own logo iphone apple has their own logo hyundai maruti so many companies have their own logos so whenever the name float in your mind the trademark floats in so trademark plays a very important role in the marketing if we talk about the trademark registration process in that also first of all the application is to be filed examining of the application is to be done after that the publishing of the proposed trademark is to be done if any case is filed from the opposition means and anybody object that it is my trademark that already i am using if they submit the application then objection will be done on that and they will check the objection whether it is a true and fair or not and after that the issue of certificate of trademark is to be issued to you and in india trademark registration is valid for the 10 year and after the payment of a fixed fee of the renewal can be get it done for the next following 10 year if if i talk about the trade secrets it is also such information which is kept secret and provide to the holder to leave over the competitor the information can be the formula or the pattern or the process plan technique list of the customer etc it should be borne in the mind that is not necessary that this information is unique or new it can be the item by keeping which secrets from the competitor we want we don't want that they just take the advantage of our business so it's a kind of trade secrets we can say so meaning is also given in the toolkit it refers to the right given in the, to the creator on the basis of which he enjoys the security of keeping the confidential information concerning his trade and secrets so what are the ways of keeping the information secret to keep the information locked where only the authorized people have their reach the information can be kept secret so the medium of non disclosure agreement or the electronic information can be kept secret so the medium of the password and the knowledge of the which is to be the limited number of persons so the last one is our geographical indications that are gi geographical indicator refers to the indications as distinguish a unique product on the basis of the area of production like darjeeling for tea kolhapuri for its chappal mysore for its silk and bikaneri is for its bhujia so it refers to the right given uh, to the producer for a unique product which is continue to provide the security to the distinction of place of original entity of the product so what is the registration process again you have to fill the application then preliminary scrutiny is to be done then examination is to be done by the registrar publication of gi grant is to be sanctioned and uh, opposition of the registration and after that granting the registration and renewal has been done when uh, you get the and registration is granted to you then all the objection has been removed the registrar accept the application and uh, it issues to certificate of registration to you and uh, after the period of completion it is to be renewed so it is all about the various iprs that we have done today let's recall quickly because last less than last one minute is left with us what we have done we have done the startup india scheme first that we have review as well after that we have done the intellectual property rights in intellectual property right we have discussed these five type of iprs what are these copyrights patent trademark 
trade secret and geographical indication you have to make a flow chart and mind map of each and every ipr make a comparison of that learn every uh, process of every ipr write and learn and use your time so well it is all about the day thank you have a nice day